Downtown businesses have taken a hit and it's been a hit after hit from COVID-19 and the latest figures show there's just no end in sight. New at 5, Channel 11's Jillian Hartman spoke to business owners and tourism officials about how they're trying to stay afloat. Well, millions of dollars in lost revenue is now impacting small and big businesses here in downtown Pittsburgh. We're outside the Omni William Penn, a popular hotel that closed back in March due to the pandemic, and it's still shut down today. It's been a tough year for the hospitality industry. We're seeing more empty restaurants and storefronts scattered throughout the city, and now there are new numbers showing how bad it really is. Visit Pittsburgh estimates that across Allegheny County, nearly $187 million has been lost in direct visitor spending so far this year. A big chunk of that loss is in downtown Pittsburgh. The loss has been tremendous for Allegheny County and Pittsburgh. That can include restaurants. That definitely includes hotels. Uh, small businesses, uh, transportation companies, catering companies. The loss stems from more than 300 business and sporting events either being canceled or postponed. Tom Loftus with Visit Pittsburgh says the Pirates, Penguins and Steelers games are usually big boosts to the local economy, but not this year. And the fact that the fans are, you know, just five or six thousand allowed in the stadium, that's hurting, you know, the city. Uh, from a direct spending standpoint. With less to do in the city, fewer people are eating at restaurants, visiting attractions, and staying in hotels. The occupancy levels downtown, 28%, that's a big, big drop, what it sh should normally be into the 70%. Hotels have taken a huge hit, but they're fighting to bounce back. The West End on Penn Avenue just reopened last week. The District Hotel reopened last month. Loftus says he's confident better times are ahead with the pent up demand. Visit Pittsburgh is working hard to drive more people downtown this holiday season and throughout the winter. One of the advantages we have even through a pandemic is that there's a lot of only in Pittsburgh attractions. Our museums, our eight national aviary, um, our restaurants that are you know, open and um, full service for business, our inclines. There's so many things that we market on a regular basis. Now the William Penn plans to reopen in January. Visit Pittsburgh tells me they're hoping businesses rebound in the new year, but a lot of that depends on what's going on in the country and if a vaccine becomes available. Reporting in downtown Pittsburgh, I'm Jillian Hartman, Channel 11 News.